Yo, what the deal, YouTube? This your man, Frank Dutch, right here. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. And today, I decided to stay off the camera, man. It's just not working out today, man. Camera dead. They all, all kind of all kind of stuff going on, man. So we just going to do it like this, man. We ain't going to let nothing stop us. First of all, I want to tell y'all Happy New Year. Thank y'all for all my new subscribers. Thank y'all for all my likes, my comments, my all the shares, all of that, man. Keep we're gonna keep doing it. We're gonna keep on going. This 2021. We on the road to 5K. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. So without further ado, man, we're gonna get into this video right here, which is basically gonna be about um making beats in Pro Tools, man. And I'm gonna add a few extra tricks, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into it, man. The first thing that you wanna do when you trying to make a beat in Pro Tools, you wanna set up four types of tracks. But in this case, I said four the last time, but in this case, we're going to set up five tracks because this is one of the tips I want to add to the video from last time. We're going to set up an audio track. We're going to set up an instrument track. We're going to set up a MIDI track, and we're going to set up a click track. Now, lastly, that fifth track is a master track. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say that before, but let's add a master track in this one right here. So uh, add as many audio tracks and instrument tracks as you want. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to add tracks, I'm going to show y'all right quick. Quick little extra trick. If you hold down Shift, Command, N, that dialog box will pop up. And you can add your stereo um, instrument tracks. We're going to add uh, three more. Let's add three more of each. Let's add three more instrument tracks. And we don't need any more MIDI tracks. You only need one MIDI track. And you only need one click track. Now, it's a reason why you want um, multiple audio tracks and multiple uh, instrument tracks. And um, you'll see. So basically, we're going to arrange them how we want them. And once we got everything set up how we want it, let's put all our utility tracks. I like to call tracks like the masters and the midis and the, and the click track like that. I like to call that type of stuff utility tracks. So let's put all our utility tracks at the top. Let's add our instruments that we want to add. And I'm pretty much doing that by holding down option and um, clicking and dragging. It's, a, it's also another way that you could do it too. I could also highlight them all and, um, and do this. I can hold shift option and I can go to no insert and it'll take all of them away or I can add them all back where was it oh yeah complete control put them all back so boom that's how you do that the next thing that you want to do is you want to set up your count offs and stuff like that i already got mine set up but this is how you do it you want to make sure that pro tools is showing um everything now you don't have to have it showing everything but things that you need definitely like you like you may be working off a laptop screen so um or if your screen just isn't big enough to have everything, just make sure you have the, the zoom control, the transport, and the MIDI up there. So now, I want my MIDI, I want my zoom control, so we're gonna put that back <laughs> in my output meter as well. Um, so look, once you got that set up, you wanna set up your um, count off menu. Now, this cl this plays into that click track that we set that we set up. Now. When you double click on it at the top here, this dialog box is going to come up and you want it to have it only clicking during the recording process. You know what I'm saying? Um, that makes it so like it'll only, um, the metronome will only play when you're recording. And you can also have this box checked down here where it'll only play during the recording process. Uh, I mean, excuse me, during the count off. Like it'll, so, so we have it set up right now. Basically, it'll play uh the 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 count off and then it'll play while it'll play while it's recording you know what i'm saying so boom hit okay with that once we're done with that we can get to making our beat man we can arm the track oh now that you got that all set up you want to make sure now that you're even getting any type of signals from your midi controller so this is how you do that you want to make sure you go to setup and you want to go to midi and you want to go to MIDI input devices. Now, MIDI input devices is, is where you have all of your different uh, MIDI drivers. Any any MIDI drivers that's installed properly will be listed right here, and you can click it, and you can use it to control different things in Pro Tools. 
Now we have our Oxygen 49 um, MIDI controller that we're gonna be using in this example. So we got that checked. Now, say like you got that and everything is good with that, but you're still not getting no sound when you're pressing the keyboard, you know what I'm saying? It's probably because of this. You definitely wanna have the instrument track arm to record. Now, say if you have the instrument track already armed and everything like that, and everything is, is fine, but you still not getting no sound, it's probably because you don't have an instrument selected. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're going to just keep moving on. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep, keep trucking on. Now that we have that, the last thing that you want to do when you're trying to set this up for making beats in Pro Tools, you want to make sure you save this as a template, man, because that will allow you to not have to keep starting from the very beginning every time. You gotta do this same thing over and over again every time. So save it as a template and install it in your system. That way, every time you load up Pro Tools, you can load up that template and just get started to work, man. I hope this video helps y'all out, man. It's your man, Frank Dutch, man. I hope y'all really enjoyed this. Um, uh, version, this updated version of how to make beats in Pro Tools. This your man Frank Dutch, man. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, man. Y'all be cool. How y'all be cool, man? Peace.